டாக்டர் எம்ஜிஆர் எஜுகேஷனல் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் யூனிவர்சிட்டி மதுரை ஆயில் சென்னை ஆயுஷ் மருத்துவ ஆலோசனை பெற நேட்கியூ ஆப் உதவுகிறது சோ நீங்க என்ன கத்துக்கிட்டீங்க பாலா சார் கிட்ட இருந்து வாட் டு லேர்ன் फ्रॉम हिम फर्स्ट ही डिडंट टॉक टू मी ओनली ही वाज जस्ट क्वाइट एंड ही इज लाइक सो यू हैवन हर्ड दैट आई एम अ साइको एक्चुअली नो सर नो दैट एंड ही इज लाइक ओके ओके one thing if i get mad on set just do, just don't lose your calm i am like that bala sir kitta work panna vanga na like they have seen his anger it seems so our cooper was but when it and the output on the where level are come abdin nam vandu ellarume solradhu nam kelvi potrukom have you seen his anger <laughs> i saw him on the very first day of the shoot you know <laughs> வெல்கம் டு மை ஷோ ஹாய் How are you? I welcome. Nalla ah. ka, I'm really happy. So, how is quarantine going? Where are you going? I started liking this scenario as well. Like where I'm home, I'm home, home. home. Like where getting getting to 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 spend a a lot lot of of time with my family. Uh, I'm getting to do a lot of things, things that I've planned of doing but couldn't do all this while. So, age acting interest So, I... honestly never thought of being an actor uh, it just happened to me when i was 16 i just gave my 10th standard exam like i completed it and uh, i got a call for something and i was really not interested because i had different plans for life and i didn't think acting is one of them but it happened it happened when i was 16 okay and when did when did you decide acting will be your uh, profession in the adathil irund at uh, which point did you decide So at the very start of my career I got to meet this man who is uh, Ritupurna Ghosh he is a director here in Kolkata and uh, so my first project had him associated with it and uh, they got me to meet him there and uh, I was not sure I just said yes because I was like okay cool I'll just go get to meet him once and when I met him the way he thinks like his thought process and the like the 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 conversation that we had i think that is the point where i was like okay like this is acting is a uh, it is it is not only like acting acting you know for me it is a lot more than that i have like from right right from school i started working and i have worked in different fields like in the industry i have worked as assistant director i worked as a casting assistant this and that so i i i have always loved the craft and the art behind it and uh, he is the one who gave me the idea of it so that is that is when i was like no i think i i want to venture i want to see what this place of work has as for so that is yeah, I, i think i start i decided very fast only when i was 16 that this is all i want to do and when was your uh, first audition tell us about your first audition my first audition was pathetic I didn't know how to act I didn't know anything yeah they gave me a script and they gave me a script of some good 7 8 pages and they wanted the character was of Sita Rama and uh, Sita so uh, she and her the way she talks and all of that I was like dude how do I do it and I was a disaster and I was like no no this is not my thing I can't do it I'm running away from this but then later on uh, things just happened things just got his path and i have been continuing doing it varma parthala ninga vandu idu pannirundinga and vandu enna sollirundanga how did you get this uh, opportunity in tamil industry this also i got through audition you know i was there for an ad shoot uh, i was shooting with jd jd sir and um, it was an ad and uh, that is when uh, a casting guy from bombay called me and told me that there's a project like this uh you're in chennai if you want you can just go meet the director i really had no clue about what exactly what it is because i was just given some basic details but then uh then yeah then i then i just researched about everything and then i went audition then that's how i got the project 
அண்ட் பாலா சார் பற்றி இந்த டைமில் வந்துட்டு பேசணும் பாலா சார் கூட வந்துட்டு ஒர்க் பண்ணுறவங்க எல்லாருமே தே ஆட் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அண்ட் நிறைய பேர் வந்துட்டு தே ஹவ் லேர்ன் சம்திங் ஃப்ரம் பாலா சார் ஸோ நீங்கள் என்ன கற்றுக்கிட்டீங்க பாலா சார் கிட்ட வந்து வாட் இட் யூ லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் ஹிம் சி ஐ டெல் யூ ஸோ இஃப் ஐ அவுட் ஆஃப் ஆல் த பீப்புள் ஐ ஒர்க் வித் ஐஸ் சம் தி அதர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் தட் ஐவ் லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் தெம் பட் ஃபார் மீ பாலா சார் at the age that i worked with him he has been like an institution for me like uh, everything you know everything and uh, he the first day i met him actually the second the first day he didn't talk to me only he was just quiet and i was like dude he doesn't talk like how do i even communicate to him he wasn't talking like there was uh, his assistant director who was translating everything for us and i was like how do you even do it and then the second time when i met him i he asked me that uh, what i have heard about him so i told him that i know you are very like you are a very big director your work is like great and uh, this and that and he is like so you haven't heard that i'm a, a psycho i said like, no sir i know that <laughs> <laughs> and he is like okay okay one thing if i get mad on set just don't, just don't lose your calm i am like that we'll get it done So I was like, okay, cool. And when I went on set, the initial couple of days he would, because I honestly didn't have any kind of workshop for this film. It was like I just had a couple of look tests and then straight to the set. Uh, I had a workshop for my Tamil thing, but uh, it was not like for the character or uh, thing. It was just for the language. First two three days he would like tell me every everything that make her look here, look there, do this, do that. and uh, i'm a very curious girl you know so if i'm out of curiosity and i would be like are sir i'm okay he's telling me everything i used to listen 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 and i would also be okay i'm thinking i shall i do this shall i do that and from the fourth or fifth day he just let me be he would like okay you do it i would go show it to him and if he want to want to do some changes and do that and we just got through you know i have honestly i honestly have heard and i've seen people being so scared of him i somehow i obviously there was respect and like that i used to be scared of him but apart from that i think i i i would go and there's a song you know uh, called bala o bala so there is one day i played that song to him everyone around him got scared that has mega gone mad or watch what is she playing in front of bala so but i asked his permission sir there's a song on your name i want you to listen to that song so what are you know i had a real good experience and uh, yeah i i think i i learned a lot from him uh, a lot of my craft a lot of what i should do and i shouldn't and less like that to get to work with him at that stage of my career and bala sir kitta work pannavanga la like they have seen his anger it seems so our cope was but when it and the output on the where level are come then we will tell you everyone is saying that we are talking about have you seen his anger <laughs> i saw him on the very first day of the shoot you know i saw and i was petrified i was like oh my god what? and it was like he didn't show it to me he showed it to someone else something happened and i was shocked i was zipped i was like how do i do this thing he's so angry and that is what i'm telling you i had this preconceived notion that okay he is he'll be very angry he you can't but as the shoot went on no i i found that soft hearted i don't know if i if i'm like putting it right or not but it's a very nice joyful nature of his which when i say to my friends or people who know him they are like what is she talking but i have always seen that like sir i could like, like obviously very subtly because his face is only so intimidating that you can't just go and blabber out but yeah there is a very there is a very um, submissive nice uh, not submissive but there there's a there's a side of his which is which doesn't look like him. like the intimidating that he is it doesn't look like that and tamil kathukittirukingla not really uh, because i had some of my tamil friends and uh, they were teaching me but now they are like make up this phone teaching is <laughs> really not happening so uh, that, that way i think i understand little but i would really like to learn more because the what i speak is very like if i if you ask me to make a sentence i probably won't be able to but yeah i would love to learn Okay appo you can sing a tamil song ha huh? come on uh, no no i just two I, lines i just sing one line aragiye marry me marry me aragiye that's all 
think I can. You are singing well. No, no, yeah. I never sing. You have no idea. I never sing. This is the first time ever that I'm singing in front of anywhere. Like I'm not a singer. I'm a pathetic singer. Now we will play a rapid fire round. Okay? So it should be like a rapid, 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 rapid. Okay. Your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory is the first time when I saw my brother. Favorite celebrity crush? Favorite celebrity crush has to be Rithik Roshan. I was in recent years, like my crush, um, I don't know, I've always had, like the kind of crush I've had for Rithik. ஹீரோன் <laughs> 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 Uh, I like Jyotika Ma'am's work. I I like uh, I love I I love Trisha in some films. Like I've not seen a lot of uh, uh, her work, but I recently saw her film called Ninety Six. She looked so real, and I can't tell you even the performance. I will visualize it with Vijay Sethupathi. So yeah, I think Trisha and Jyotika. Your favorite three expressions. My favorite three expressions. One is this when I'm like. Okay. Cool. One is. What? Okay. I do this a lot when I play okay. like what I used to. And the third one is you always kind of see me smiling. So. It's... Okay. Three ways to impress Mega. Don't pretend. Okay. Uh. I uh. You can like talk whatever you have in your mind. Mind. And uh. And yeah, I think basic this basics starts to like not impress me, impress me. But see, I don't know what I get impressed in. Uh, I, I. So nice! It was really nice, and uh, it wouldn't in the rapid fire movie there. But I have last one more question. What will be your punishment to all those uh, uh, harass women? Go on the tell. This part of Bangla. What will be your uh, punishment? Like you know, uh, with everything that is happening around, and recently I heard the story of. Alex mm. and uh, Phoenix with everything that is happening around and I don't know how people I was I was actually having this conversation with my mother the other day that how do you give like punishment is a thing you know but the problem now right now what I feel is people are lacking the sense they lack the empathy how do you penetrate that into them okay true yeah. and uh, i just want to talk about even one more thing nepotism in uh, indian cinema what do you think about that see nepotism honestly is there everywhere why indian cinema okay. it is it is it is there everywhere no it is it starts from your house itself and uh, i believe that if your work is good There is nothing like. See, I'll tell you. If today my father has his company and if he wants me or my brother to join it, it is fair. It is fair. No, like he wouldn't go look for someone else because he has raised me up. And yeah, people. See, the only difference what I feel is that as an outsider, you don't know a lot of people, so it becomes tough to go and reach to a lot of people. Whereas if you're an insider, if you if you have your family, or it's in the long run. I don't think any of it matters. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Like, it's like a very serious conversation. <laughs> but, yeah, you but know. But I just I know with uh, and recently with uh, Shushan's passing and mm. with all yeah. the things that mm. is happening around people are talking about mental health. See, I I I I don't support the thing that is going on on Twitter. I I would love if people So do it in a different way you are accusing other people of someone so you are making their mental health also take a toll right it doesn't happen it shouldn't happen like that it is it is I, as i told you you know i really feel the roots really need to be strengthened now of everything what we have been taught what we have been learned what what whatever 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 that has been happening uh, 
now people are opening up so you see you see a fair and lovely dropping their fair from the uh, from their name a lot of things are changing people are waking up and uh, i just believe that you do your karma and it will just like you do your work and your karma will come back to you and it is just matter of time you know i i see a change i feel the change and i just believe in like going on and working hard and if there is a bit of luck with you then there is nothing that can stop you. okay have you ever faced that uh, nepotism in somewhere like uh, in any in- industry yeah since school yeah and why why would i say only industry since school there okay. are there have been so many things like you have a group of friends right mm-hmm. now 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 some from like from a certain group there is a monitor she she, uh, she gets to choose prefects and all of that okay. she chooses her friends i think we have every one of us have faced nepotism in some of the other way everywhere because we do favor our friends True. right we do that like i tell you if today i have also been a casting assistant so when i used to cast when i used to look for options i would i the first people would come in my mind as are my were my friends because mm. those are the people i know of then okay. i would further go and search of other people as well right but firstly to when some if you are asking me to meet you know like someone comes and tells me to you know this curly looking guy 59 wearing a purple shirt i will obviously talk about you it just happens like that the more you know but yeah but at the end of the day i think it is your work and your talent that speaks and today we are living in such a gen era where if you have your content if you have your work you can actually reach to people just like that through instagram through youtube there are so many mediums right now so it is just that i i i believe that you should do your work work hard never give up and true. yeah just just hope for the best true so nice and i really had a great time talking with you Thank you, so thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Meha. Dr. M G R Educational and Research Institute, University, Madurai, Chennai. Aishmarthu, Alu Sani, Parayanatku, Appu, Devagiridhu.